Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm presenting the ECM Puristica. And like its name suggests, this machine is for the espresso purist. That's the only drink this machine makes, that's shots of espresso. But it does it really well and with style. To present the Puristica, I'll uh, do a rundown of its features, I'll explain what makes this machine unique and what makes it so exciting. And then of course to demonstrate it, I'll pull the drink that it's designed to make, and that of course is a shot of espresso. So in front of me I have two Puristica machines and these are the two colors that it comes in. Uh, this is the original with the anthracite body, it's kind of anthracite and chrome. Uh, that comes with the standard ECM porta filter. Or the new cream version that just came out recently uh, has a, a cream colored body and it comes standard with wooden accents. So you have the olive wood porta filter and you have also the olive wood at the top and bottom of the water container. The water tank on this machine is a, a unique design, meaning that it's external, it's not inside the machine. Uh, and it really is uh, quite nice once you get used to it because you can put it anywhere you like. It has these flexible hoses so I can put it either on the right side, the left side of the machine. I can put it behind the machine in order to hide it. Uh, it's really convenient. Also, it's convenient to refill because you can just take that container to your water source, fill it up and put it back. Uh, down here we have the PID. This machine is off, but the anthracite one here is on. Uh, the PID controls the temperature inside the boiler. This is a single boiler machine, so we only have the one boiler for brewing espresso. Uh, I have mine set right now at about 196 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, you can change that to Celsius if that's what you prefer. I usually do prefer Celsius, but for this video we decided to change it up and go with Fahrenheit. In addition to setting the temperature inside the boiler, the PID also controls a few other settings. The first one of those is eco mode. Eco mode is essentially a auto shut off. If the machine's been idle for a preset amount of time which you program uh, with the PID, it will turn itself off in order to preserve energy. It also has a cleaning reminder. And this is again, you set it for how many cycles you want. Uh, so let's say 10, 20, 30, uh, whatever, you set it to whatever you like. And after that amount of cycles, it will remind you to clean the machine. And that of course is back flushing it, which is important to do regularly because a clean machine makes better coffee. And the last setting in the PID is the degrees. And you can change that uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius. And that will of course depend on when you were born or which side of the border that you live on. The Puristica features uh, ECM's E61 group. ECM has modified it just slightly uh, to improve its aesthetics. You can see the cap up here, that which, which we call the mushroom, it's a single piece. Uh, whereas most traditional machines, it's a two-piece design. This looks aesthetically, I think, nicer. Uh, it's uh, kind of ECM's signature on the E61. The E61 group head is known for its reliability and of course its temperature stability. It's been around forever. It's the most widely used commercial group in the entire world. Uh, and uh, it really does a fine job of extracting tremendous espresso. Towards the top here on the left, we have a pressure gauge uh, that measures the extraction pressure inside the group while we are brewing. And a cool feature that the Puristica has is this knob right here. And this isn't for steam or anything like that that you would be used to on a normal machine. It's actually the control of the uh, expansion or the OPV valve. So, you can adjust that, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment, but you can adjust the extraction pressure, you can uh, uh, raise it or lower it. Uh, it's very easy to do, and I'll demonstrate that in just a second. One last neat feature that I'll show you on the Puristica is just underneath the drip tray here, and if we slide that out, we actually have a little indent where we can keep our blind basket. You can really put any basket inside there. Uh, you can store your single, your double, whatever you prefer. Uh, it has that little space to hide it. You'll also notice with the drip tray removed that the entire frame of this machine is stainless steel. So it really is a high quality build. ECM really builds machine very well. These machines are handmade at their facility in or near Heidelberg, Germany. So before brewing a shot, I just want to show you how to adjust the expansion valve. It's super easy. I'm just going to remove this portafilter, put it aside for one second, and I borrowed the portafilter from the cream machine. And what I did is I put a blind basket inside there. A blind basket is, of course, included with this machine. And I'll engage that right there. And then I begin brewing. And you'll see the manometer. Uh, the pressure will build up. And it will stop at... Uh, well, it's, it's right at nine right now, or maybe just a little bit over. So if I want to lower that, I'll just turn this dial uh, towards the left, and you see I've lowered it to eight. Or if I want to raise it, let's say to 10 bars, I turn it to the right. I'm going to leave it at nine because that's, that's the standard, but you do have the option uh, with this machine 
in order to make those changes uh, to dial in your espresso to your own preference. So now that I've dialed in my expansion valve, I have it set at nine bars, which is where I want it. Let's brew a shot of espresso and see this machine in action. I'm using some accessories alongside the uh, Puristica. Uh, this is a dosing funnel, the ECM branded dosing funnel. And the grinder that I'm using is the C Manuale. It's a manual grinder, 54 millimeter burst from ECM. It's designed to pair with the Puristica. This is the anthracite color, so it's the same colors on the machine. And it's also available in cream uh, to match the cream colored grinder. I'm just gonna put that aside. Uh, the tamping stand that I'm using is, again, the ECM tamping stand. Uh, it's one of the best ones. I really like using it. It's a cool design, uh, very easy to use. And this is their distribution tool, which I'll just give it a few spins. Now, all of these accessories are optional. Uh, they're purchased separately, but the tamper that I'm using actually does come with the Puristica. So this tamper is included inside the box. It's a, it gives you a good start. It's a stainless steel base. Uh, it's it's uh, you know a, a nice tamper. Uh, to get you started in making espresso. So I'll start my brewing there and also the PID on this machine is also acts as a shot timer. So uh, you see that it's counting up. You can see we're getting a, a nice extraction. Um, I'm at about uh, 35 seconds now, which is a little bit long, uh, but the shot is actually looking quite good. I stopped it there at 39, and I have two uh, rather nice looking shots of espresso. I'm actually gonna taste one of these. Just give it a little bit of a twirl. Mm, that's actually quite nice. Um, Puristica makes fantastic espresso. If you're an espresso enthusiast, the Puristica may be the machine for you. Now, you've seen me pull a shot of espresso, and of course, that is the only drink this machine is designed to make. However, if you want to have an Americano, you certainly can. You would just have to provide hot water from another source, like a kettle or something like that. You can just add the water to the espresso, and you'll have an Americano. And you can actually do the same thing with milk if you wanted to as well. You would just froth your milk using an external frother or something like that for the occasional cappuccino. But this machine really is designed for people who drink primarily straight espresso. One thing that I absolutely adore about the Puristica is its design. This is a handsome machine. I think it looks fantastic. It's got this super compact size. It's tiny. Uh, it can easily be moved from location to location if you want to move it, let's say, from your home. If you go away for the weekend to your cottage or to another place, it's actually quite easy to move. Uh, that is another great feature of the Puristica. In this video, I demonstrated the Puristica with the C Manuale grinder, and that's a fine choice to get you started. But if you really want to elevate your espresso game, you pair this machine with a uh, top-end espresso grinder, and your results will be truly incredible. If you have any questions about the Puristica or any one of our products, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We are here to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this about espresso machines, about coffee machines, about coffee grinders, everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching and have a great day.